Do you want to know the one thing that all leaders have in common? And it's maybe not what you think. It's not about the skills and, and education. It's actually all great leaders give a shit. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Daryl Black, and if we haven't met before, I've got 30 plus years of experience in crisis leadership, responding to big disasters and emergencies and smaller ones like hundreds of search and rescue missions. I've also spent a decade in corporate project management. I help leaders make a bigger impact, grow their influence, and boost their income. There's a common belief that I've heard and continue to hear, and that is, yeah, Daryl, people are professionals. People are paid to do a job. They have a job description. They get paid really well to do what they're doing. Lots of kind of similar veins in terms of, of the discussions when we talk about giving a shit. And I completely get it. I was brought up in a paradigm that was very much, you know, to be seen and not heard and a very strong hierarchy. And a lot of you have also been raised professionally and even personally in that kind of an environment. And yes, you will get good results. In fact, occasionally you may even get great from some people. But what we're talking about here is the, what is that common thread? What is that common quality or trait or attribute that great leaders have? And it is, they give a shit. And what do they give a shit about? They give a shit about the people. They care about who they're working with. In the mornings, how about spending just a bit of time asking how somebody's day was? and actually caring about the answer. Be present. Good morning. How was the hockey game last night with your son? Whatever that is. Now, we're not talking that you need to deep dive and be everyone's best friend because that's also you know, not what we're looking for in terms of, of, of leadership. The key point too, this is not a command and control world anymore. In some circumstances, absolutely recognize that. But more times than not, it's about leaders supporting the team and not commanding them. They, they, they care about the mission. They care about the customers, the customer experience. They care about everything. Like they care about processes. They care about doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. They care about what right looks like. They care about efficiencies. And no matter what that is, depending on your situation. They care about making a difference and they care about coming across as in their best light as much as possible, recognizing that's not always possible. They care about being good humans. They care about who they work with being good humans and all just all sorts of things that go into that. And yeah, we'll get a team that is good for sure. You know, we can go in there and we can be RoboCop, a little bit of a throwback there, uh, RoboCop and, and maybe the Terminator. We can be all business. And maybe that's your personality and I get it. But that's why I'm speaking to you today. That will get good results. But if you want great results, you have to care. You have to care about all of those things I talked about. But most importantly, Care about your team. Care about the individuals that are are surrounding you. Care about the individuals. Having passion isn't about dancing in the streets or anything like that, but it's about giving, putting in the effort, putting in the effort to be a great leader and putting in that effort to get to know people and to connect. And I get it, you don't have to be best friends with everybody. That's not what I'm talking about here, but be personable. Be approachable. Be interested. When you ask somebody how they're doing, be present and actually care about their answer. When a teammate comes up to you and they're having a challenge or they're having an issue or they're facing a barrier, be empathetic and be interested in solving their problems or at least helping them solve their problems. When I deploy, I work with amazing, amazing individuals. When I do corporate leadership coaching, when I do videos like this, I genuinely care about the results. I genuinely care about the people that I serve. I genuinely care about the people I support. And I'm not just saying that. A friend of mine, when we were facilitating a workshop a few weeks ago, 
And he said to me, he's like, Daryl, you ask a lot of questions when you facilitate. And I was like, yeah, I do. And I thought about it a little bit. And here's why. And this is what I, what I said to my, to my friend. I genuinely am interested in what people have to say. I am genuinely interested in figuring out what people's thought processes are. I am genuinely interested in what makes people tick and what influences them. There's the professional side of it, of course, right? So if we figure out where they're coming from, then we can influence their behavior, not manipulate. But it also shows caring. If you want to create a connection with your team, and that's ultimately what a leader needs to do, is they need to connect and then lead and then influence. There's no better way than actually giving a shit about the people, about the folks that you're supporting and, and the mission. You don't need to be anyone's best friend or anything, but you just need to give a shit. And the opposite of giving a shit is apathy or apathetic. And we'll talk about that in other videos. But I want to leave you with that. Sure, you can continue going on as a professional and treating people professionally. And you'll get good results. In fact, again, you may get great results. What is that? Even a broken watch is right twice a day or the squirrel and the nuts gets lucky. Whatever that is. Um, yeah. Okay. That's great. And you do you, but ultimately it's about moving people from good to great. It's about empowerment. It's about influence. It's about, uh, doing, being a force mul multiplier and, and all of the, the, the things that leadership is. And I understand that leadership's not easy and it's not easy to give a shit about everything. And you know what? You don't have to care about everything. Not everything needs to be a hill to die on. I totally understand that. But ultimately, great leaders give a shit. And that is a principle that I have embodied and continue to attempt to embody and impart in other people because that's what gets results. That's what improves our teams. That's what improves outcomes. That's what improves our organizations. That's what improves our communities. And that's what improves our families. So hopefully there was some value there. And like, subscribe, share as much as you possibly can. I think there's a lot of people that really need a little bit of a, a little bit of a, oomph, you know, just a little bit of a tweaking in the direction. And I am a very strong proponent in leaders giving a shit.